So if you need to find a pattern inside of a string, the most effective way to do that is regular expressions. And so in PowerShell, there's an operator called match, and that will match a regular expression to a string and evaluate true or false. And so here on line four, I'm matching string to string just to kind of demonstrate a really simple example. And you can see this evaluates true, but you know, it's the same thing as if you use the like operator here, that also evaluates true. So that's not a great example. So if you put a number inside of that string, so we got string with a one instead of an I, I want to see if there's a number in that string. We use the match operator and the slash D regular expression character, which evaluates to any number. So slash D is any number. So it should go true because there's a one in that string. But we see that string. We know that the number one is what it matched on. And PowerShell knows and stores that in the matches variable. So if we look at the matches variable, we can see that the value is one. And so that variable is updated every time the match operator is used. So if we scroll back up here, reevaluate string and string, and then look at the matches variable again, we can see that the value is now string. By default, it calls the first value zero. And so we can reference that specifically using these bracket notation here and return just that value. And that's useful if you need to find the matched value in your script or something. So let's take a look at a more practical example. So here I've got a sentence. I've worked in IT for 30 years and I'm assigning it to the string variable. And keep in mind that I have not worked in IT for 30 years yet. <laughs> and so if we want to find the numbers out of there, we can use that slash D to match it, see if there's a number in there. And that'll evaluate to true. And since it's inside of an if statement, it'll also run line 30, the matches and look at the value. And you can see down here, we've got three. Well, that's not 30. That's not all of the numbers. So there's a way to get more of the numbers. So here on line 35, I've got slash D plus. So the plus character in regular expressions qualifies the preceding character and tells the regular expression engine to get one or more of that number. So it'll get as many as it can. So in this case, that will actually return three zero because it will match numbers until it runs out of numbers. So we've got three, the zero, and the space wasn't a number, so it stopped. But the issue there is what if someone puts, I worked in IT for 3,000 years instead of 30? Let me show you. So that matched 3,000. So then what we need to do is define an acceptable range and only match on acceptable ranges. So I am assuming that no one will have more experience than 199. It could probably go a lot less than this, but just for the sake of this demo, I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'm assuming the oldest person in the world was what, 120, 130, and maybe they had 100 years of experience. So for the sake of this demo, I'm assuming that that number won't be bigger than 199. <laughs> and yeah, you could probably argue that that's too high, but I wanted to add the one in the beginning to kind of show a more complicated example. So in this case, on line 48, my regular expression here, I've got one inside of parentheses followed by the question mark. So that question mark qualifies the previous character and says one or none of this character. And then immediately following that, I have the slash D, which is member numbers. And then the one comma two inside of the curly brackets, that qualifies that slash D and says, we want to get one or two of this number, but not three and not zero, but one or two. So that's what that will match on. So if we look at this with our 3000 number, it's, it still matches three zero because that's two numbers. Remember, we could add a space here and then it doesn't match, but spaces in regular expressions, mm, they kind of work me up a little bit. So what we can do to make that even better is where I got a better matching section. We can use slash capital D. So what the slash capital D will do is that matches anything that's not a number. So slash lowercase D is a number slash uppercase D is anything that's not a number. So in this case, this will match on anything that has a one or not a number at the beginning, followed by one or two numbers, followed by not a number. So this will this match 3000? No, it does not. But will it match 130? Find out. Yes, it does. Will this match 201? No, it does not. Remember, it's 199 was the top. And so if we, does it match two? Ah, yes, it does. But one of the things you'll notice is that there's a space at the beginning with two. That's because we're matching that space in front of the number. So the non-numeric number, the slash capital D. So we can even look at here. It matches zero dot length. 
And you can see that that's actually three characters long, and it's only the one number. Trim will save the day. Here we'll do matches zero dot trim. And there we go, we got our standard output. So that's how you can get started matching with regular expressions in PowerShell. Thanks for watching.